So here at CES 2012, what is the latest with MHL? Well, lots are going on. Charles. Hi, my name is Judy Chen. I'm the director of marketing for the MHL consortium. Uh, there's some of you who might be familiar with Tim Wong, who's also been interviewed and talked a lot about MHL. So I'm just going to give you a quick update. So here we have a Toshiba MHL enabled TV connected to a Samsung a Galaxy S2 phone through an MHL cable. Uh, we made it purple because uh, I like purple. So the beauty of an MHL TV is that you can surf your phone with uh, the same TV remote that comes with the TV so you don't have to buy anything extra. So here I'm just kind of surfing the, the home screen here as you can see I'm going up, yeah. I'm going left, yeah, you can hold it, yeah. I'm going down. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull up a Word file yeah. so that I can show you the list of devices that are out there with MHL, including the ones that have been announced here at the show. Okay. So I'm going to go into my files. And then I'm going to go into download. And then here you can see all my personal files. Okay. Okay. Look, I'm going to point away. Okay. So let's so hold this up. It's your document viewer. So this is a Word document. Um, this is a. Unfortunately, this is just a simple mirroring of uh, the Word document. Um, and it's just, it's a, it, the, the resolution's not that great. I'm sure there's apps out there where the resolution is better. But this is right now all the devices that have either been announced or available in retail. So you can see, you know, the top um, strip are phones, the next strip are display devices, and the bottom ones are actually uh, really exciting because these are new devices that are neither phones nor televisions. So. Um, Sharp, just at the CES show, uh, announced what they call media stations, which are Blu-ray players on steroids, yeah. basically. So they're Blu-ray players that can do a bunch of other things, and they kind of double as uh, a, an AVR uh, type of system for you, where you can connect via MHL from your phone to the Sharp, uh, me what they call the media station, um, and then it can go to the rest of your home theater system. So that's very interesting. Roku made a big splash at CES and the week before CES. Um, they, I think they just won uh, some award. Uh, I think the uh, Popular Mechanics Editor's Choice Award. It's a media stick that plugs right into an MHL TV. So it does audio video streaming directly from the media stick to the TV while the TV powers the stick. So all you need is just one stick and one TV and all of a sudden you know, you've got like streaming Netflix, you've got you can play Angry Birds, it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, Ankyo is also, I mean, one of the technology leaders in the AVR field, and they also announced uh, an AVR receiver uh, with an MHL input. So we're very excited to see all these new types of products on the market. Um, other devices that, uh, that have been announced at the show, Huawei. Uh, announced the Ascent, which is a beautiful phone, and they uh, have also incorporated uh, MHL. Pioneer yeah. uh, is making an aftermarket uh, head unit, a, a, a radio unit that plugs directly into a car. So now MHL is in cars. And I think Pioneer also won like best of show or something like that. They, yeah, they, they won best of show. All right. So we've got two MHL products that have won awards at CES. So we're very, very excited. So I've been walking around the Chinese hall just now and I've seen uh, Chinese makers selling the cables. Like uh, makers, the more, more MHL cables coming out as well, adapters. Yes. More adapters and and cables like the purple cable that you see yeah. there. Uh, uh, they're they're making those. Uh, this this is made by JCE. Um, I think this is also JCE as well. But I think uh, there's some companies like uh, Canex and others uh, that have come out with passive cables for MHL TVs. So what do companies do to do an MHL? They have to make an agreement with you or. Anybody can just go ahead and do some MHL. Uh, 
As a manufacturer, you need to be part of the adopter community. Uh, so that you do have to sign up and uh, license with the consortium. But uh, in turn, uh, you get many, many benefits. It's, it's like a club, you know, if you, if you join a club, you get, uh, you get many benefits. So, and one of the benefits is that we have a full team that's doing nothing but promoting the technology itself. And uh, Silicon Image is the leading provider of the silicon that goes in there? That's right. So Silicon Image is the technology leader for MHL. They're driving a lot of the technology as well as being the, the chip provider. But the other consortium members are clearly, I mean, the, the, the end product manufacturers who are, who are actually putting this into this market. And they can use any, any chip they, they, they want? They can use any chip. They, can use, they don't have to use Silicon Image chips. All right, yeah. cool. So, uh, looking forward to many new, like all the high-end phones. It's basically yeah. all the top phones are there. That's right. And uh, the next ones, even more. Like next year is going to be, you'll need three or four TVs to fill out all the names, I guess. Well, we have quite a few TVs. If you look, we got the Samsung TVs, the Toshiba TVs. Another CES announcement, BenQ, just came out with 3D televisions uh, with MHL. So. But I mean, you, you will need three TVs just to list yeah, all the GSL. products. Hmm? You will need three screens to list all the products, yes. I mean. Yes, I, I like the way you think. Okay. <laughs>